Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and insights from the football world. We have witnessed one of the most exciting finals in the history of the Hero Indian Super League. It was just the third final which went into extra time and to be honest, it lived up to the expectations. It was in front of a packed stadium in Goa and this were two teams which were fighting it all for glory and obviously we know what is at stake both teams went into this match with that kind of confidence and that kind of energy which can lift the entire crowd and both managers to be honest Ivan Vukomanovic and Manolo Marquez have been quite pragmatic in their approach for the entire Hero ISL season and it all boiled down to this final match played in Goa and obviously it lived up because we saw a first half which was quite frantic there was quite few tactical battles in the middle of the park and I just felt that in the first half Kerala Blasters were taking the ascendancy they were dominating the game more they were having easy possession and they were not allowing Hyderabad FC to come out of their shell they were you know bombing crosses they were able to penetrate through the middle and obviously when you have that kind of experienced players like Adrian Luna and Alvaro Vasquez, your team is going to score goals. You will always be an attacking threat. And if you, you know, have a defensive structure which is working for you and you rotate the ball really well and don't take much time on the ball, that is where Hyderabad FC will be vulnerable because they like to you know retrieve the ball higher up the pitch and that is something which never happened in the first half there were occasions when Joel Kianese went clear but unfortunately he suffered an injury and Siverio had to come on as his replacement there were few occasions when Rahul KP was having a brilliant chance obviously you have a star striker like Alvaro Vasquez in Kerala Blasters he hit the crossbar it was a wonderful shot and it was something which you know got the crowd going and most of the fans in the stadium we all expected them to be mostly Kerala Blasters fans who made their trip all the way from Kochi and Malapuram to support the Manjapadas and to be honest I have never witnessed such a crowd it was obviously jam-packed it was an exciting watch for the fans after two years they were able to come back to the stadiums so it was obviously a very big occasion for them however in the second half we saw a bit more resilience from both teams Manolo Marquez sent a strong message to the Hyderabad FC players to stick to their tasks and be more pragmatic and have much more confidence on the ball and they expressed themselves much better in the second half they pressed Kerala Blasters higher up the pitch and they were creating a lot of chances and against the run of play Rahul KP scored the opener in the game it was a crucial blow in the context of the game because we have seen Lakshmikant Katimani pull off some brilliant saves and on this particular occasion I think pressure played its part this was a routine catch which should have been a routine save for Lakshmikant Katimani but this is the final anything can happen and when Rahul KP shoots it you all expect it to bulge the back of the net however it was a mistake by Katimani it went through his hands and went into the goal so it is 1-0 to Kerala Blasters and you expected a reaction from Hyderabad FC they were trying to you know ping Kerala Blasters deep in their own half and that allowed Hyderabad FC to create all sorts of pressure on the back line which was well led by Leskovic and to be honest Prabhsukan Gill has been a revelation between the sticks and deservedly he won the golden glove however it was a wonderful strike by Sahil Tavora the second half substitute for Hyderabad FC to make it 1-1 on the night and we went into extra time this is the time of the match where you require characters to step up you require mentality monsters and obviously you require that kind of experience to take you over the finish line both teams have those kind of players and it was up to them how they would motivate the young Indian players to stay positive stay focused and concentrate however we couldn't find a goal which could decide this match 
and the match had to go to the penalty shootout. A penalty shootout is always a question of luck and whichever way it goes, it is all about who is much more courageous, who is having the cojones to take these penalties and, you know, march towards glory. And obviously, both goalkeepers were having a brilliant outing in the pitch. Lakshmikan Katimani had the perfect opportunity to redeem himself in front of goal and that is exactly what he did. He saved three out of Kerala Blasters, four penalties and it was a sensational 3-1 victory in penalties for Hyderabad FC. To be honest, this has been a match worthy of a final and it went all down to the wire. And Lakshmikan Katimani was the man of the moment, was the man who was responsible for conceding the first goal and obviously he redeemed himself. What a night, what a match and this is where I just say that the hero ISL never fails to deliver and big up the fans, big up all the players and the coaches, the coaching staff, everyone in the ISL team. It has been an exciting tournament and I just look forward to much more thrills in the future. It will be an exciting season next year. We'll be seeing some more transfers taking place. Most of these squads will be bolstering their squads with the transfer window coming up. And I just feel that Hyderabad FC on the balance of play deserve to win. And yes, Kerala Blasters were very valiant in their effort. They were fighting till the end. They never gave up. But in penalties, it is all a question of luck. This time around, Kerala Blasters were really unlucky. They lost their third final in the history of the Hero ISL and obviously Hyderabad FC were a more dominant side. So guys, please put in your thoughts in the comment section. Who was your man of the match? Who has been the emerging player in this edition of the Hero ISL? And it has been a fantastic tournament. So guys, Please stay tuned for regular updates from the world of football and please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until next time, stay safe and take care.